All right, I had a video request uh, to do a uh, power steering flush, and uh, unfortunately I can't do one on video because I went ahead and took the bottle out since I had uh, everything apart anyways. Uh, my fluid actually didn't look too bad. It wasn't burnt, and it didn't have a lot of particulates. Um, but since I'm doing a new engine rebuild, I figured I'll go ahead and uh, put some good, good clean oil in there. But if you look down in there, there's actually a screen. Let me grab a flashlight. actually a screen down in there and uh, I used our parts washer our hot tank it's got 170 degree water and I just hooked the output hose to the bottom and just let it back feed through that screen uh, but if unless you take this bottle out there's not really any good way to to clean that screen it is sandwiched in between uh, two um, two pieces that are ultrasonically welded together so there's no way you're gonna get, get that screen out and the only way to really clean it is to take it out and back flush it with uh, some good hot cleaning solution or maybe some brake fluid. You want to get that nice and clean. Um, if you do want to do a flush, um, there's there's a couple different ways you can do it. Um, it's kind of a messy job. You want to have two people. But uh, basically uh, you can crack that line right there. That's going to be uh, one of your two return lines. And uh, if you crack that line right there, run a hose output out from it to a, a drain pan, and you're going to have someone filling the filling the reservoir while while you're uh, letting that that output drain into a bucket. You want to just uh, dr keep filling and draining until it runs clear, and it'll happen fast. Uh, Anthony said uh, it, it only takes a couple seconds to empty the whole reservoir. But basically, uh, take one of your two return lines, whichever one's easiest to get. You could technically grab one of these lines up here too, if you really wanted to, but uh, probably the return line is the best. Crack that open, find a way to feed it to a bucket, and then fill the reservoir as you're draining it, and make sure you keep this reservoir full. Uh, but just so you know, there is a screen down in there. Don't go poking down inside.